most excited about this one so far? Where are the emotions today? Um, pretty excited. It's the, uh, going into game six, we just want to give ourselves life and uh, have an opportunity to play a game seven and we're here. So we understand the keys to success for us, the energy and focus we need to have to start the game uh, and understand that it's going to be a tough 48 minute uh, challenge to, to get one more. Steve joked that you play you guys 49 if necessary. How many are you prepared to play in terms of minutes today if you have to? Uh, yeah. As many as I need to. I think you don't you don't want to over for me I don't know. It's, it's, it's a basketball game. It's 48 minutes that we always play. Things can change here and there. You know, situations you don't really know how the game's gonna unfold, so you just gotta be ready for anything, but the way that you prepare your body and your mind for um, just the, the physicality and the intensity and the, the adrenaline rush you're going to have and the emotions and you might be a couple butterflies to start the game, all that type of stuff, um, whether it's 39, 40, 41, 48, whatever, however many minutes you play, just, just be ready. Obviously game six. Not at all. That's <laughs> two different situations. Obviously <laughs> game six was in a little... I hate when people say that. Like it's they're NBA players, and, and yeah, they're, they're they're new and whatnot. And Bron is amazing. He played an unbelievable uh, playoff run to, to to date, and has willed his team to his eight straight finals and all that, which is it's unbelievable um, to think about the consistency and longevity. And, Level of greatness that he's shown um, in the Eastern Conference, and I'm not a basketball fan, but to uh, turn on the TV last night and watch the game and the points in the game, you didn't know how it was going to play out, and they found a way to get it done. So um, shout, shout out to him, he, it was an amazing performance. But, uh, don't, don't disrespect the other guys out there; they, they, they fought hard too. Obviously, Game Six was a potential eliminating elimination game, but. Does tonight feel different? Yeah. Uh, only because I guess there's a different ring to game seven. Um, you know, when you win game six, you still have work to do. But if you get a win tonight, you turn the pace into the final. So uh, there's a different, there's a different heightened awareness about what game seven actually means and, and uh, just the entire uh, atmosphere that you expect here tonight is gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Um, and this is what my my fourth one. I think. Uh, kind of understand how this you know every game in the series takes a different shape, but game sevens are ten times that just because uh, you, you throw everything you have you know out there on the floor, uh, one last effort to get a win. So. Just gotta be ready for anything. Is there anything you take from those? To, right. Know that you have to be on that edge in game seven, but you can't go over it emotionally. You have to be prepared to play with a certain call in the midst of all this. Uh, experience helps for sure. Um, I haven't been here before. I've been on the winning end, the losing end. Um, this is our second one on the road, so I kind of understand what that what that environment is going to be like. But experience, there's no. Replacement for that, it definitely helps to know. Uh, go back and, and think about how your body was, how your mind was racing at 100 miles an hour. You had to really tell yourself when you got those the floor, it's just basketball. The same 94 feet you play every single game. Uh, just the uh, situation's a little different. You just got to calm yourself down. So, uh, as amped as we were in game six, uh, in the last game, I had to dial it back in. Hopefully we'll use that as well as uh, to our advantage of kind of settle them in right away once the, once the ball is to it. I know it doesn't change what you guys do, but knowing that Chris Paul is a game time decision, is that on your mind at all, or is that something you're not thinking about? I mean, if he plays, we understand what he brings to the fold and um, how he changes the, you know, the offense a little bit. But for the most part, um, the things that we're, we do that when we're successful against the team happen, whether he's out there on the floor or not, um, defensively locking in, being on a string, uh, off 
defensively, trying to keep the ball moving, keeping the pace up and all that type of stuff. So um, we'll obviously adjust if he does play, but for the most part, our keys are concepts that go for their whole team, no matter who's out there. Steph, what kind of techniques have you learned to use for yourself in a game like this where you need to calm down and lower your heart rate? I mean, most of it's just uh, just breathing, for real. Like, just taking a couple deep breaths. I took a tip from uh, some PGA guys who used to tell me when they're out there on the course, um, and it gets kind of logs in on a couple holes, and they got to you know, slow themselves down in between shots so that they uh, can pace themselves for a five hour, six hour round, wherever it is. Um, took that as a way, like leaving, you know, the way that you do your whole pregame warm up routine or how you go through two line layups, just take it a little slow because your mind might be, you know, processing things a lot faster than it usually does, but your body will start to speed up a little bit. So you kind of got to dial it back. Set the tone early in the day. Uh, it's just another, another day. It's just a normal day, another basketball game um, that you, you work so hard to uh, to excel at and, and rely on those those routines and those uh, those kind of preparations to get you ready. Step up the seven last games playing the same team. A lot of times, the coaching staff, leader to the team like you, you guys stress certain things. What are the things that you are almost tired of hearing about what you have to do tonight? <laughs> What have you been hurt from talking about constantly? Most of it, not turning the ball over, <laughs> taking away a three, um, and not getting stagnant on offense. I mean, we, uh, we do those three things, our defense shows up, we should be in pretty good shape. I think uh, we've proven that. When we don't take care of those three aspects of the game, the game gets away from, away from us. And to be honest, those are the things that we control for the most part our effort and our um, attention to detail and making sure we're just trying to hit singles on offense. So um, that's not just a this series thing. That's a, since Coach Kerr's been here. Thing. So, um, we, should, we should know about it. Great. Thank right. you. Thanks, Steph.